Welcome along to the drum and bass sessions. <laughs> Got a good loop going. Got these kind of growly sounds coming. This sound I'm not happy with, so I'm gonna work on this a little bit today. I'm not sure what I want to achieve with it. Okay, so let's change this completely. It's an okay sound, I guess, but... Ooh. Mm, maybe keep it, because I like that, that kind of thwock sound after it. That's kind of cool. There's an envelope somewhere. Here it is here. Okay, let's bring the course values down on the FM stuff. Just to a sign. Bring the release back. Maybe if we copied this, I know this is uh, breaking the rules a bit, but. Now give that a little envelope. Bring the envelope back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like it. Very subtle. Turn the reverb off. Oh, that's good. Sometimes it's those little subtle things like I pulled the attack too far up and um, it just works. We're getting quite a few clicks in there. Um, maybe a little bit of attack. Can I bring the highs up? Let's spread the hell out of that. So I'll bring the spread down here and we'll use the filter delay trick. Could even make this a bit longer, maybe 15. Bring the dry down. Copy this one. happy with this um, I'm going to take a quick look at this there's too many things going on here what I'll do is <clears throat> these two are not necessary these are the upper harmonics uh, so let me just play them for you if you don't recall uh, we're on this track here so we've got our noise here and then we've got four op operators just doing the harmonics. You can hear this is real subtle. And we can actually achieve those. You know what, we can do this a bit differently. I'm going to turn off that oscillator and we'll turn off this one here. 
and um, I'm just going to make this a sign. Bring the call spec to one. Do the same here. Call spec to one. Now we can go into the oscillator mode and draw these in ourselves using the um, I don't know what you call this, the harmonic editor. So if we bring this one down, let's go to um, two, four, and six. Then we'll go to this one and we'll go three, five, and seven. So we can get rid of the seven, maybe put something higher in. And then over here, because this one's on the right hand side. And we can also, um, okay, so now we can, yeah, we can put, I don't, I'm just thinking, can I actually pan the oscillator? I don't think I can. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Uh, if we had MPE, we could use pan with the velocity. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Okay. I should be able to get the, the noise into this group now. Well, let me do it like that. So can I cut it and paste it? Yep. Now we can ungroup this. So we're getting the... Um, let's turn the reverb off. Do I even want the auto pan? We can achieve this result within the oscillator. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the LFO on, turn it off all the destinations, and we'll do Destination B as OSCE volume. We'll go sync mode, sixteenth notes, turn re-trigger off. Okay, and we need to do the same here. Oh, we can copy value to siblings, so copy, copy to siblings. Oh, that's going to copy it to the white noise as well, but that's cool. We can deal with that. So sync mode, copy to siblings. Um, we can't do it there, so let's just go to the LFO, turn these off, ask volume, and we've put the LFO going here with the white noise. I'm going to EQ that noise. I'm going to really, um, Isolated band of it. Turn these off. I quite like that. Now let's listen with the harmonics. I could almost use a um, an envelope here. Let's try let's try a band pass and we'll give it an envelope. I just want to hear this white noise and you gotta focus a bit on this white noise here. Is that good? Can 
compared to hmm I think I like both to be honest I really like that Just for fun, I'm going to bring this uh, threshold right down. Awesome.